Coucou tout le monde, c'est Axe, j'espère que vous allez bien, très heureux de vous retrouver pour la suite de cette aventure de la quatrième saison et dernière de The Walking Dead. On est toujours sur le premier chapitre, et on va pas perdre de temps, on va voir tout de suite ce qui nous attend dans la suite de cette aventure. Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess they don't realize it makes them easier targets. I want to try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Okay. Don't pas dans l'eau. Go ahead and try. They're not running. Any luck? I got something. Good enough for me. Super. Et deux. Hey, I'm sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. I'm sorry. We, we weren't trying to upset you. No, no, it's okay. Seriously, it's kind of nice having someone in there again. Ok. Je m'attends à tout moment à ce qu'il y ait un drame. Definitely thinks you hate her. Okay. Looks like they wisened up. If it was only had better luck with the traps. I got one. Clem, I got one. <laughs> Bravo. Good job. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is between us. With Brody. I don't know why it's like this. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. Because you blame her for what happened with the twins. Well, that's what I used to think. I just keep thinking that things might have ended differently if I was there. Maybe I could have protected Soph. And Minnie. Oh, petite. She wants to talk about it, you know. I just... I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... I didn't even get to say goodbye. I wanted to talk to Brody, to tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. Well, enfin, c'est pas une solution. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim, see if they had any better luck. Ok. The Grand Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip, start driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. Ouais. Yeah. That would be cool. Je parle. Super. Un premier pas. Thanks. Hey, you slow folks coming? Yeah. We're right behind you. Those guys practicing making out with a toothless walker. Gross. <laughs> I know. Poor walker. <laughs> what 
the hell? What? This isn't normal? Someone sabotaged this. This isn't good. A Sam? Lewis! Il y a d'autres personnes. Spread out. See if we can find them. Watch out for monsters. Ah, ma première intuition était peut-être bonne. Des rôdeurs qui arrivent en nombre. Et c'est pas normal. Hmm. Empty. Il y a quand même du sang. Tiens, mes gosses de cigarettes. Huh. Is this a Bible page? Plim, found something. J'ai pas fini d'examiner. Huh. Monster. Guys, over here. Well, we didn't kill this one. We wouldn't have left it hanging in our trap. What the hell? Found this too. Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Who is this unlucky fella? Where have you been? Checking nearby traps. The ones that were sprung were all empty. All the rest are broken. Mm -hmm. Someone robbed us? Oh great. And now we're gonna starve. <sighs> Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Pas le moment de faire une crise de panique. It's just a panic attack. Take a second. Breathe in deep. And hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. Ok. Un peu nerveuse quand même. I'll take this hall back to school. And maybe we can ration out something. So what do we do? Eat rocks? We can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? Let me think. Euh... De toute façon, on n'a pas le choix. Train station. It's not too far from here. Maybe, but it's outside the safe zone. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Or we could starve. Fine. Let's go. C'est parti. Bon, on commence à nous voler de la, de la bouffe, des choses comme ça. La tension commence à monter. Je vous ai dit, c'était trop calme depuis un moment. Barely got out of here. It was close. What? Sounds scary. There's a reason. We could climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. That bell might be able to get the walkers' attention. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis. I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. Just get up there. The quicker we get this over with, the better. Decisive. I like that in a woman. Just stop. Stop. <laughs> C'est clair. I'll go with you. I'll give you some cover. Fine, I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. 
I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! Okay. Bon, lui apparemment va falloir quand même le faire. Ok. Et Bondy, elle est où Oui, toi, Louis. Et du coup, ils sont toujours morts, forcément. Alors, est-ce qu'il y a de la bouffe En tout cas, il y a des rôdeurs. Moi, j'aurais mis la lampe à l'intérieur de la cave. Oh, du riz, ça c'est cool. Allez, bouge-toi. Bang Il y a des années que je n'ai pas vu de bang. Ça se fait plus en France. Tellement chimique ce truc. Stand. Voilà, je m'en doutais. Ok. Ok. You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already, and organized some effort to get inside. I've seen those cigarettes before. You messed up our traps, didn't you? Guilty as charged. But it was an honest mistake. I can be a real butterfinger sometimes. Ouais. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group. 
Count you plus the two outside, I'm thinking maybe more. Tell me about your group first. <laughs> uh, I miss the days when we were all so goddamn cagey. It's just me and my ugly face out here. Lonely, ugly, and hungry. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. What? <clears throat> oh, oh. Well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Donne un coup de pied dans son arme. Donne un coup de pied dans son arme. Steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my merry. You understand? AJ, get down! <laughs> Why not? What the fuck? Just take a bag and fill it up. Wow. What's about it? Oh shit. pas d'autre alternative. You are not listening to me, Marlon. Listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Take y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A sim, Mitch, check it out. Food. Oh, it's pretty good it's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet helped too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Hello. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station, that's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Elsie. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome. Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. Ouais, je pense que là, t'aventures pas sur ce terrain parce que. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means? Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious. Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. Ooh. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. Elle déjà ne se pardonne pas d'avoir perdu les deux jumelles. Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But shit. Ils lui ont fait plein d'acné au gamin. Nothing's easy. It was risky, but it was worth it. 
Like you said, we can't lose another kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did say that. Avec ses trois polos, mon ton. Least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Merci. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie. Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. Admit. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Okay. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. I doubt oui. it. Oupa. Me too. But it's not like you can go ask one. No. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death what doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. Quelle sagesse de la part de ce petit garçon. Sometimes I draw this too. Can can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? Oh, hey. I almost forgot. Hey. hey. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. Ben est vraiment doué, je suis d'accord. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. See ya. for bed little guy can i stay up nope two more minutes tell you what you lay down and then we'll see you full from dinner yeah it was good yeah it was i like it here i got to kill fish violet looked like she was having a good time <laughs> It's nice not driving everywhere or running away. Right. But the ranch is nice too. Rentrer. Before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? 
I like it. Now that I'm used to it. It's good, for now. But places change, and so do people. It might not stay good. Elle reste rarement, malheureusement. We're not leaving. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. Alors. That's cool. I know, right? Like, really cool. Okay. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks. Qu'est-ce qui se passe Est-ce que Ouais. Ok. You okay? They sound mad. Don't what? worry. I'll find out what's going on. I know. Ok. Ok, on a décidé d'aller se coucher tout de suite. Regardez le lit. Ok, ça on s'en fout, on verra plus tard. pas de où ça vient. Basement. Fermez la clé. Ok. Ouais, ok. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Ok, il y a du vent. Je me disais aussi. According to the map, there should be another entrance to the basement around here. Ok, j'ai pas trop eu le temps de voir le plan. lourd mais ça peut servir par là yes en train de s'engueuler on dirait
Wow. Et avec le boucan qu'on a fait, ils ont rien entendu. qui a attaqué. You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station. We got history. Rody. Ah, bah voilà. Je vais être sûr. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. You're the one acting crazy. Excuse me? I heard you shouting all the way from my room. Why is he trying to keep you quiet? What history? Marlin let him take the twins. Him and his people. Rudy! Oh. No. Sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed of what. Shut up! Oh! Hmm. Uh, what'd you say? Oh. I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. So, so. You're gonna be okay. I, pr I promise. Come on, get it. Let it flow. Did you say that? Right? I told you not to say it. You, you hit her too hard. She's not gonna make it. Shut up! Come on, Brody. We can fix this. At least you're gonna be okay. Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Wow. Clem, just, just stay still. Who? I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? We talked about going to the beach, swimming, driving along the coast. Son. You're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. Parle. He's scared. Et le moment. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Brody, if there's a threat to AJ, you have to tell me. Everything is so faint. I can't feel my legs. Please, try and focus. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let him take you. Take us? To make him go away. Like he did. Like he did with ten sisters. Oh la la. Brody. Yell convulse. Adieu. Oh fuck. No. No. What the hell am I gonna do? Je pense que là ton heure a sonné. Sit in there and lift up the latch. Can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flashlight. That'll help. Allez. C'est un truc de barjo.
Et c'est que le premier épisode Oh Ok, une règle. Elle est morte où l'autre Oh là là, c'était ici. Allez, allez. Dépêche-toi. Allez, allez. T'es pas obligé de pousser les deux portes, une seule ça suffisait. Waouh. Allez, chaudé. L'autre, il va nous mettre ça sur le dos, j'en suis sûr. Oh. Gross. Oh là 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 là. C'était trop calme. Beaucoup trop calme. Pas bien qu'il y ait un drame. Il y a toujours un drame. Oh. Mais à quel prix À quel prix Et 
outsider is just going to come along and take it. What? You have to believe me. You don't. You met her like two days ago. I don't know you, Clem. Not really. Huh. I'm sorry. This isn't like you. I know you're not weak. Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what Amy wants you to do. She was my friend too. It's so sprody. Clem, I. <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. You were there that day those raiders came? He would have abandoned you too. Oh. Okay. Violet being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Mark. Be reasonable. Okay. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all. Do you? I'm trying to protect you! All of you! Every fucking one of you! You are fucking failing! Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. If they came back, I do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize huh. we were so fucking expendable. They told me they died. Huh. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. A real leader would have sacrificed himself. I, I wanted to get them. States some kind of rescue. Ah, rien fait du tout. I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. <laughs> huh? Allez, allez. À toi, Clem. Allez, tu sais qu'il n'y a pas d'abdos, il est faible. Pourquoi t'as fait ça, E.G. Non Choc de la fin, quoi. Alors, on était 56% à avoir tué le couple de rôdeurs. Ok. 44, vous avez laissé passer Edgy par la fenêtre de la gare. 53%, on est allé pêcher avec Violette et Brody. Ok. C'est bien, c'est que du coup, pour le moment, bah, je suis un petit peu dans au niveau de la moyenne. 71%, on a convaincu... Edgy de dormir dans le lit. Vous avez été quand même presque 30% à le laisser dormir sous le lit. Vous n'êtes pas humain quand même. 78%. On a choisi d'attaquer Abel. 
Ok, 22%, vous lui avez donné à manger. 61%, vous retournez Violette contre Marlon. Bah oui, c'était un choix logique. Louis, c'était le c'est le pote d'enfance de, de Marlon. On pouvait pas... Euh... Enfin, c'était... Pour moi, c'est le premier choix qui me venait. Violette, euh, voilà, était un peu plus facilement euh, exploitable. Ok, bon, bah pas, pas de choix contesté. On est vraiment au-dessus, là. Enfin, vraiment dans la grosse moyenne. Je pense que ce sont les choix les plus logiques, quand même. Alors, à cause de vous et 61% des joueurs... Louis a eu le cœur brisé. Il s'est montré compatissant quand il a appris que vous aviez tué un proche. Ok. On a réconforté. Ok. À cause de vous, 26% des joueurs. Edgy s'est senti cruel. D'accord. On l'a réconforté en l'incitant à dormir dans le lit. T'es content que vous attaquiez Abel à la gare. Ok. 30% des joueurs. Ten a ressenti de la rancune. Ok. Donc là déjà, on est plus contestable. Ten a compris votre réticence. Ok, quand vous l'avez autorisé à dessiner, il a offert son œuvre. Rodi est morte. On l'a réconcilié avec Violette. C'est déjà ça. Elle a été choquée que vous preniez la rencontre avec Abel à la légère. Alors, 61%. Ok, à cause de vous. D'accord. Elle a été agacée car vous n'avez pas repoussé les avances de Louis. Ouais. C'est heureuse qu'on la réconforte dans les dortoirs. Marlon est mort. Il était furieux qu'on l'affronte dans la cour. Il était fier qu'on fasse confiance à Rosie. Alors, Omar était content de vous voir au repas. Ruby était écuré du comportement des G à table, oui. Mitch était ravi de vous montrer sa connaissance des armes. Asim vous est reconnaissant d'avoir empêché Edgy de lire son journal. Grâce à Marlon, vous avez créé des liens avec Rosie. Vous avez impressionné Willy lors de votre première rencontre. Et on a récupéré 3 objets sur 6 pour décorer notre chambre. Ok. Très ah bien. Bon, on pourrait continuer, on va pas continuer tout de suite, on va arrêter cet épisode ici, et du coup, bon, on va démarrer le deuxième dans, dans le prochain épisode. J'espère que celui-ci vous a plu, j'espère que enfin, ce chapitre vous a plu. C'est vrai que je l'ai enregistré d'une traite, donc ça fait un, un petit peu plus de deux heures, deux heures et quart. Donc ça va faire probablement aller l'équivalent de trois épisodes de moyenne durée, c'est plutôt pas mal. Je sais pas comment on va s'en sortir avec les autres, je pense que ça va être à peu près la même durée, je vais m'organiser de toute façon de la même manière. J'espère que ça vous a plu. Si c'est le cas, n'hésitez pas. Pensez au petit pouce bleu, aux petits commentaires et tout ce qui va avec. Moi, je vous retrouve très rapidement sur la chaîne pour la suite de cette aventure. Je vous fais plein de bisous. Je vous souhaite une bonne continuation à toutes et à tous. A très vite. Bye bye.